What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionista, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, guys, I just want to do like a sit down. This was really supposed to be a sit down podcast type of episode, but I got my mic here. I need another, a different cord, like an aux cord to actually connect it to my camera. And I don't have that, but I definitely didn't, but I definitely did not want that to stop me from recording this video. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to record it the regular way with my regular mic. And then I'll try to get a cord so I can actually use this mic. And my whole purpose of that was because I actually am starting a podcast soon, but for some reason I feel so nervous about entering into the podcast world. And I wanted to like practice on YouTube first just because I feel more comfortable with y'all. I don't know. It's weird, but that was my whole thought process, but that's not happening right now. So whatever. But today, I want to talk about being an entrepreneur while also being an employee. And that's basically, you know, working on your business while also working a nine to five. I feel like if you're someone who is in that, I know how you feel. I can relate 100%. I just want to talk about that whole dynamic, you know, like what that's like, how it makes us feel how it makes me feel, I, you know, I can't speak for anyone else, but how it makes me feel and just how we're gonna get through this, like how we're gonna keep going and keep progressing through this to where we're ultimately, you know, only working on our business. So let's get right into the conversation. I gotta find my notes cause I made some notes on what I wanna talk about. So basically I'm naming this me versus me, employee versus entrepreneur, because it's like you're two different people. Honestly, um, I'm not the same person at work, at my job, as I am as an entrepreneur. Um, I do think I put in much more work, concern, much more focus on my, what I'm building, my business. I put much more into that than I do my nine to five. And I don't think, me personally, I don't think anything is wrong with that. You do want to put your best foot forward in whatever that you do but it's hard like when you are when you know when you know what you're building it's hard to give your all to something you really don't care about necessarily like that's not your passion that's not what you really want to do overall with your life like it's hard to give that your all so but you do want to just give everything the best that you have so let's start off with the difficulties of being an entrepreneur and also being an employee, someone with the nine to five. The first difficulty is what I just talked about, like shifting your focus. It's hard to shift your focus from this, your business, and then to this, your nine to five, because your heart is really over here with your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what you really want to do. This is what you're passionate about. But this is something that you have to do in order to fund said business, in order to just keep said business going. Like it's something that you have to do, but it's so hard to shift your focus. I find myself all the time where I'm just like, like this week, like this week for instance, where the past couple weeks, I looked at my paycheck and it said I worked 93 hours. And I was just like, wow, 93 hours for somebody else. Like, yes, the money is good. The money looks good. But when it comes to building your business, sometimes time is more important than money. So for me, it, it just really hit like, wow, 93 hours doing something I don't love. Like it's not my passion. When I could have been spending those 93 hours building, creating content, creating new designs, 
connecting with my audience. Like I could have built, I could have used those like 93 hours there, but you just have to, you have to find the positives. And we'll talk about that later, like the positives of working your nine to five and also building a business. But that is one of the difficulties. Um, another difficulty of being an entrepreneur and also working a nine to five is being misunderstood. Um, I feel like this happens to me a lot. Every job I have, people don't really have the same mindset that I have because it's like, I know, I know this is not where I'm going to be. The nine to five is not where I'm going to be forever. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. If you know, you know, like I, I'm not here for, I'm not trying to be the CEO of your company. I'm trying to be the CEO of mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people don't understand that. They expect you to be one way when you're really another. So um, I had a situation happen recently where it's my off day, right? So on my off days, I try to be intentional about what I'm doing on my off days for my business and for YouTube or my social media, whatever. I try to be very intentional. And um, so on my off day, I had a mandatory thing to go to. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go, but when it's over, I'm out of here but everybody else kind of like went out afterwards with each other and then went back to work. But in my, and they were asking me like, um, are you coming, are you coming? And I'm just like, no, <laughs> no. When I'm not at work, I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't think about work. I don't care about work. When I'm not at work, just because I've given you all this time that you are paying me for already. You're not paying me for my time, my off day, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody's paying me to go out with you guys. And you know what I'm saying? Like, unless I really want to, I will. Like, it's always good to build relationships and keep good relationships with people. But I also have to make sure I am focused on what I'm actually building over here as well. Like, I feel like as an entrepreneur, if you know, you know, because you work 24 hours, seven days a week. It's 24 seven. Like I don't have the extra time to lollygag with my nine to five, if you know what I mean. Like I've given my nine to five, I've given my job all that I could for the week. Now it's time to give all that I can to my business, the entrepreneur side. And I think they were like looking at me like what? It was an awkward moment for about 10 seconds, y'all, for real. When I said it, they were just looking like, what, you're not going? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and everybody was just like, oh. And I think people felt some type of way, but I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, there's this boundary that you have to build as an entrepreneur with your nine to five. You have to know why you're at your job, what your job is doing for you, what are you trying to get out of it? And that's my boundary. Like I did not know. <laughs> it was just no in that situation. And also that day I had, uh, it was a lot of other stuff going on. Like the day before was my boyfriend's birthday and I worked on his birthday, which is something I don't believe in. Um, <laughs> I don't believe in working on birthdays. So I worked on his birthday and my off day, I wanted to spend time. You know, I wanted to spend time with him. He had just gotten good news. So I was not thinking about my nine to five or hanging out with people from my nine to five. And that's nothing against them, but it was just like, I have a life outside of this. I have things to do outside of this. This is not my life. You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. So I think that's a big difficulty being misunderstood by your peers in the workplace. I think another difficulty, and I'll make this the last one, is just giving so much of yourself to your job or to your nine to five to where you have nothing left for your business. I feel like that a lot and it's honestly frustrating, it's annoying. Like I would get off work, get home, and now I'm tired, like I'm, I am tired. <laughs> So I try to spend at least, you know, maybe 15, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour sometimes on my business every day, even if I do work every day. That's something that you wanna make sure you're doing just so you are pouring into your business every day. Like don't let your nine to five stop you from doing that. So some days I'm just tired. Like I just cannot think, I cannot eat. I just wanna go to sleep, that's it. 
And I feel like me being so exhausted and so tired from something that isn't really serving, I can't say that. I was about to say not serving the purpose of my business because it could be. But something that I feel in that moment isn't serving me in the terms of my business, it's just like, I feel like I just wasted time. You know what I'm saying? Like you did it, but I feel like I did because now I'm so tired, I'm so exhausted that I can't even do the things I want to do for my business. So that's a big difficulty for me and I'm still kind of finding my way around that one, like working through that. Cause girl, I be tired. I be, my brain is tired from thinking of all the things that I have to do here. And once you're mentally exhausted, you're mentally tired. That's kind of, that's different from being physically tired. You know, if you physically tired, you can lay down and chill for about 10 minutes, maybe take a cat nap and you good. But um, when you mentally tired, I don't know what you do. I, I just, I just go to sleep. <laughs> I just go to sleep and I be sleep and then you gotta get up and do it all over again. So I'm just really trying to find my way with how I'm, um, I'm just trying to figure out how to handle that. Because when I figure out how to handle that, oh, it's beast mode. <laughs> but right now I be exhausted and I, I try to do something every day still. You know, you just gotta do what you can until you can do what you want. So that's where I'm at. So let's get into the positive side. I, I feel like the difficulties were very negative when it comes to your nine to five and also being an entrepreneur, but let's get into the positives because there are some positive with um, having a nine to five and also being an entrepreneur. One of the positives I found and this is kind of what keeps me going, is take what you can from your nine to five and implement that into your business. You're working for a business, and if this business has been working for them, what can you take from them to implement into your business to make your business better? I feel like every job I've worked at, I've grabbed something from it to implement into my business. Um, I've worked at a warehouse and it was the Nike warehouse. So when I worked at the warehouse, I was working in inventory and I worked um, in packing, I think. I don't know, I was folding the t-shirts and packing the t-shirts, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> so in that sense, I learned how Nike worked. I hated the job, Let don't get me wrong. I hated it, but taking the positives out of that, like I'm working under Nike right now. Do you know who Nike is? <laughs> Nike is Nike. So I'm learning the operations that they use for their business and I can now implement those operations whenever I have a warehouse or whenever I have a team, I can now implement the things that I've learned from Nike into my business because I have a clothing business as well. So therefore me learning how they do their inventory, how they set up SKUs and how they fold the clothes and package the orders and yada, yada, yada. Me learning all of that, I'm taking it in. I'm like a sponge, like give me everything I can from here because when I leave, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just taking all of that that I've learned from them and implement, implementing it into my business. What's another one? Uh, Where was I working at? Ross? At Ross, I really felt like, at Ross, I really felt like I learned more so customer service. Um, Everybody around me, the customer service sucked. And it was just like, why are you so angry and mean with people who are just here to shop? That's it. You don't have to be angry and mean serve the customer like that's what they're here for that's what you're here for to serve the customer so i really feel like they taught me what not to do honestly um because everybody wasn't there for the betterment of the business if some people were just there to get their check and they you know go on about their day after that so i really learned just how to be better at serving the customers because of what i saw other people doing that they shouldn't have been doing um, and I feel like, uh, once again, in my business, it's very important to have very good customer service to serve the people who are shopping with you to, oops, excuse me, to just be, I don't know, be a light. <laughs> and I feel like, um, that's what my goal was. Just be the light in a dark place because coming into work, nobody really wanted to be there. I didn't want to be there either, but I'm not about to, I'm not about to 
project my hatred for this job on the customer. Like that's not your problem. Um, so yeah, I feel like I really learned customer service there and it worked. Like I got good customer service reviews all the time. People would just reach out to my manager like, she's great yada 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 all the time so what i was doing was working and i just think that's what's important you know that's what's really important serving your customers so that's what i learned there um now my current nine to five my current job i'm in more of so of a leadership position so here my focus is how do i lead people i've never been in a leadership position like this yeah i've served as a president before but that's not the same as a leadership position in an actual job so here i'm learning how to actually lead people how to keep people on task how to manage people and for me in my business when i have a team these skills are going to come in handy when i actually get a team um in the future also in my new position i'm learning sales i'm learning how to operate during a sale or how to sell your product to a customer i'm learning so much here i'm really soaking as much as i can in from my nine to five right now because it's a lot of good good things that i could take back to my business yeah so you just really have to find i know like i know you hate it there because i hate it there <laughs> you know at your nine to five but you have to find the positive find the positive and be the light that's my advice find the positive and be the light and just keep going until you can be on your own with your entrepreneur life just be a sole entrepreneur until you can run your business only you know do what you can and take what you can from your nine to five don't look at it as a negative thing every day because that's just gonna weigh you down trust me i know and it's just gonna be like you're gonna have this negative spirit over you about this place when this place can give you so much you know can give you so much information you can meet so many new people here that you you never know how they're gonna impact your business one day or impact you for you to impact your business you know what i'm saying so take that positive i think the last thing i will say um also and this is more so from a um spiritual standpoint i am a child of god um so for me i i think about that a lot and one thing that I try to do and I think is good to do is serve others while in your waiting season. Entrepreneurship doesn't happen overnight. For some people it does, but entrepreneurship isn't overnight. It's not an overnight thing. You're not gonna post your clothes and then, oh, you're a millionaire. You know, there have been stories like that, but for most people it's not. So I think it's important to serve others in your nine to five. Help these people build their business because right now you're in your waiting season of yours, but it's okay to give what you can to your nine to five or to your job. Like it's okay. Um, I feel like God will see that and he will reward you in the end for your service. We're not, we're not doing this for nothing. We're not, you're not working for nothing. Even if you just get that little, oh, this is how they do sales. And that's all you get from this business that you're working for. That may have been your purpose of being there. That one little thing may have been the purpose as to why you had to work this job. So serve others while you're there. It's very important, especially if you one day want people to serve you in your business, it's important to serve others while you're in your waiting season of your business growing. Yeah, so I just, I just want to encourage you guys like I know I know how you feel because I feel the same way being an entrepreneur and working a nine to five is not easy and some people think like oh they're not doing anything oh they're not working where are you why aren't you doing anything I'm working every day <laughs> Every day I'm working. Y'all might as well stop texting and calling me asking me what you doing. Baby, I'm working. I'm always working. If I'm not working, I'm sleeping. Sleeping so I can work. Working so I can sleep, okay? And on a rare occasion, I'm not working or sleeping. I'm minding my business. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Working or sleeping or minding my business. Try it. But um, stay encouraged. Like, find the positives 
Find the positives, be the light. Don't be afraid to take what you can from whatever your nine to five is and use it in your business. I know all of this stuff is easier said than done because sometimes it's more of a mental fight than it is a physical war. It's more so like your mind but you have to change your mindset. Once your mindset changes, you can operate better in both spaces. And you can switch that entrepreneur light on when you need to, and you can switch that employee light on when you need to. Yeah, that's my spiel on it. That's how I feel. I hope that this encouraged you. I hope that this may have encouraged you to change your mindset on certain things. You know, we have to we have to change the dynamic of this conversation. I know that some people have, you know, left their jobs and went for it. And I wish everybody who does that the best, you know, don't do that unless God has called you to do that. Like maybe God wants you to work your 9 to 5 and get what you can, but you want to quit thinking you're supposed to jump and he didn't tell you to jump. So now you're struggling in your business. So just make sure if you get the word to leave your job, leave. And if you don't, stay. I don't know who that was for, but um, yeah. I once again hope that this encouraged you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video all the way to the end. If you made it, if you made it all the way to the end, put a, put a flame in the comments if you made it all the way to the end. Make sure you guys check out the link in the bio, dynamicxfashion.com. Check out my website. Let me know what you guys think. Purchase something if you would like. But that's all I have for you guys. I'm not about to tell you. Um, I'm trying to figure out YouTube, right? I just told you, like, I don't be having time. So I'm, but this is what I love to do. I'm so happy to be right here talking to y'all again. So of course it's going to happen again. And I can't wait to get back on the camera and be more consistent. I'm ha I have to figure that out. I have to, I have no choice. This is what I love. But yes, yeah, so make sure you guys smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss nothing. And that's all I have for you guys. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.